Hi again everyone, today on Gospel and Spade we are going to take a look at the Nebuchadnezzar II bricks, which date between the years 604 and 561 BC. In the British Museum is housed a collection of fired clay bricks with cuneiform inscriptions that were found in the ancient land of Babylon, or modern day Iraq, during the 19th and 20th centuries. Several other museums around the world also house similar collections of fired bricks from ancient Babylon and elsewhere from the ancient world. One discoverer of such bricks in Iraq was by the German archaeologist Robert Koldewe in the ruins of the ancient city of Babylon at the start of the 20th century. After their discovery, their inscriptions were translated and many of these bricks were found to contain the name of Nebuchadnezzar II of the Neo-Babylonian Empire, who reigned from the years 605 to 562 BC. These bricks were used as a means to preserve the accomplishments of the king into the future. Other ancient kings also did the same thing, in an attempt to preserve the memory of their great building accomplishments. In the Bible, Nebuchadnezzar is mentioned multiple times and in various different books of the Old Testament, which include Daniel, Jeremiah, 2 Kings and others besides. However, until the discovery of these artifacts related to this famous king, he was considered by skeptics of the Bible to have been a mere invention of the Old Testament writers and therefore, as a result, never existed. However, the multitude of bricks that have been found with his name upon them help to clearly show that just as the Bible clearly stated that Nebuchadnezzar was indeed an historical king and also one of the greatest kings of Babylon, contrary to what the Bible's critics claimed. Thank you for watching. As always, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.